Phone's doing weird things again. Not surprised. This Merkin retrograde about to end, and it's a full moon too. Cloudless suffer. I am learning the difference between the cloud. There's the little yellow butterflies. You got the little yellows. Call the little yellows, and one is a cloudless suffer, and the other is uh, well, the little yellow. The little yellow is just kind of bright yellow and tiny, and the cloudless suffer has uh, it's all small, but it also has a little. Anyway, just just research on that, okay? Into the thick of it. Into the thick of it. Full moony. Out here at Carver's Creek. You know I'm getting my therapy and I've been getting my therapy in all day. And uh I just wanted to say there are crazy things going on. But what does that have to do with you? What does that have to do with you? And that's it. What does it happen happen to do with you? By the way, if you don't think that I see somebody's truck by my old boyfriend's house, I really do. Now, I don't know if he's sucking you off, but you know what? Go ahead, do you. Because crazy sex, I've had crazy sex. People come at you when you're in grief. You know, when I get my book out about trauma bonding, you know that's going to be a book you're going to want to read. And the thing about it is, I don't have to push and push and push and sell it. I mean, I'm going to, but listen, you guys know me by now. Because a lot of people think, well, I need you to buy this t-shirt, and I need you. Everybody's selling t-shirts. Why should I buy your t-shirt? Who are you? Just because you're on YouTube, and you're influencing what you do. But who are you influencing? What are you influencing? I'm looking at you and saying, like, why should I be like you? Seriously, <laughs> what are you doing that I'm trying to copy and be like? You got clout? Oh, all those numbers you done bought? Like, I don't know that. Okay, a smart person would, a dummy? No, but you go ahead and y'all do that because you know what? There's something for everybody. So, you know, hey, I get it. I get it. You gotta just be, let it be. The water's so, the well, the weather's so clear. Look at this. It's so nice and calm. Therapy. 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 Whew. Take a seat. Take a seat, daughter. I will. Water's still high, too. Is it rising again? Well. Mm -hmm. Well, it is full mooning. It is a full moon. You know, the tides rise with the full moon. Nice. Nice. Yeah, I see everything today. And there, people are working today. Uh, well, whatever. And they're putting up fences today. Whatever. But I'm good. But I got another clue, getting plenty of clues on what I should do. People are so cool and so nice today. You know, as I show you, went to Walmart and I'm going to do something that one would think is, is, is Mercury or Retro and a full moon too. Do you really want to do that? But, you know, it's girl about her, girls about her food. <laughs> what foodies do and military brats do. People think I should be scared of them. If you only knew. Marcus, you mad? And that whole Hollywood Calabasas crew? If you got up with some of my crazy exes, there's at least two of them. I'm sure they screwed you to the pooch. Oh, they thought they're the best. You talking about obsessed. Why are you so obsessed with me still? Damn, what was that like? I heard. Since 2012? You must be in hell. If you, 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 you got too much focus on me. <laughs> and people say, your focus is too valid. No, what I'm doing 
It's letting some people know. I'm giving you this lesson for free, and I'm giving you some of your lesson. It's free therapy. This is my philanthropy. I'm not asking you to. You can like and subscribe, share, but really it doesn't matter to me because this is my personal advertising. I'm a walking billboard, and I'm a walking billboard of my life, of what I do. Uh, I'm a real professional broadcaster. I'm a real editor of a magazine, The Edge Magazine, back in the day with Mitch Faulkner, OMC, All Mike Productions, read up into that in Atlanta. I really worked at Magic in Atlanta. I've really worked at radio stations here, D103 and Foxy 99. I was the first female, the first female, the first two voices you heard on Foxy 99 was mine and Tony Light, two Pisces. The first voices, Tom Joyner, the white Tom Joyner, uh put that team together and I wasn't even going to go to them I was at D103 and I thought we were supposed to stick together hello Dean Lanceman if you're still out there remember me hey I still do commercials from my in-house studio and it's that I can do every I can I don't have to go outside of a studio to do that because the way some of you guys commercials are they're just they suck so I don't really have to do that much I can just do me because I have actual talent that's what Jerry Farmer you know, instilled in me. Well, actually, that's what my parents instilled in me because I already had the talent naturally. But Jerry Farmer, really, at uh, Central Carolina Technical College, that's where I got my radio degree. Aside from the political science and the history degree, because at the end of uh, why you didn't tell me till my senior year in high school is it's not a damn thing I can do with political science except to teach or go to law. See, I get that. Y'all about money. You all are not about helping students. You're about money. The schools are not about helping students. The universities are not about helping students because I tell you the truth, you want to kill me and I really am there for the youth, but you're just doing it for a check. That, that's going to come back to you because you don't know what's next. You think you do, but you think your little group and your little organization going to save you will be the way to your salvation. Even your churches can't save you. But, hey, y'all think you know God, and I keep telling you you're a fraud. I mean, it ain't about the church. The church should be inside of you. Didn't somebody try to teach you that? But you say you know Christ. What Christ would that be? And where is Jay today? Speaking of which, where is J. Cole and where is Cammie Norris? Not that those two things are synonymous, unless they are, but I don't know. But I'm just saying, notice how you don't see you don't see them at all. You used to hear about them all the time. You said, gammy, gammy, gammy. Oh, I just heard. Hey! There go my ranger. What's up? Uh, anyway, next time.